that's pretty good. So yeah, E Tree Bethesda E Tree this year, it's pretty good. And I had some good laughs as well as that. So yeah. At least there's no Skyrim remastered at least today. This unless they count that joke. Very special edition one, which is just a bunch of jokes, which is a joke on how basically Bethesda likes to read. That's just got er, er, multiple times. So, that aside, let's talk about something. So, I just recently finished up each read this year. Finished with Bethesda. It was pretty good. Why, to be precise? So, first of all, let's explain. Rage 2. Eh. So, the original race was the gloomy post-apocalyptic stuff, but then just put drop, just, just put LSD on it and you got the sequel. The sequel is kind of felt like the LSD-like version of it. it. Yeah. Basically, including new features and also a performance by Andrew WK, a for the music for the soundtrack, you might know that guy for some, I probably forgot about he did. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the series or TV show you did for Cartoon Network right now. So yeah, and it was show the epic gameplay and new vehicles, and it also, t and in the middle of the trailer we get to see is basically a pr talk about the collector's edition, which also included this weird talk, which includes the talking head, which is a nice little. <laughs> so yeah, they announced that. I don't know why you can't announce it later, but still, yeah. So yeah, it shows pretty much a rage to new gameplay and whatnot, and also a new voice, and you play as Walker. We don't know what happened to re to the previous protagonist. I'm just gonna presume he died or something. So yeah, you play as well. And also, I do like the funny joke. And yeah, I do like the funny joke with the Walmart Canadian joke. Anywho, next up is another talk on the Elder Scroll. The Elder Scroll. Those Legends, which I played, I finished up one of the free single player campaign, which felt like a bit of a tutorial, as well as a bit of the multi, and yeah, I just wanted to play a couple of multiplayer matches and that's it, even the solo arenas. I had to do a few solo arena runs. Which the game will be coming out later this year, is going to be for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One this year. And Elder Scrolls on... Elder Scrolls Online will get a new dungeon DLC called Wolf Hunter, which is going to be around werewolves this year. And later this year, we're going to get a D more DLC taking back to Black Mara with uh, or my. It is the latest ex the latest expansion. Some reset is uh, available now. So yeah. then we get to then we get to a short trailer for Doom Eternal. Yeah, every a sequel to the re reboot. Then we get to another quick talk about Quick Champion. Nah, eh, not just special for Quick Champions. They're, they're gonna make it more accessible for free to play, and it's gonna be free for a for a limited time only, and then get lo and you get stick and yeah, just for a week before the actual full free to play comes out in the near future. No, don't confirm release date. I actually have another copy of the beta. I have a copy of the beta, by the way. Then we get to Mooncatcher, which is available tonight. Yeah, no joking. This is a new. So yeah, remember Prey 2017, that ver that game that mainly reimagines the making this the survival horror type. A bit unrated. It released back in May of 2017, which includes and if you starting to not starting whenever your time the was, they will be including the free update would include the story mode, a new game plus, and survival mode for those who want a challenge. Pray, a moon crush. The first major DLC is going to be this rogue, -la, which is going to be this rogue, -la, like gameplay, but with if pray gameplay where you try to attempt to get escape, and also pray will get two new VR experiences. Then we get to Wolfenstein Youngblood, starring and BJ Blazkowicz's twin daughters, who's set place at the events of the New Colossus in the 1980s. It's a co-op game. It's a co-op game, but with it also you can play the solo. So if you don't, that pushes the story. And coming next year, we're getting VR ex expert. We get to Wolfenstein Sci 
for pilot, which is you play as a hacker hacking Nazi robots. That looks pretty interesting. And yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something real quick about the prey real quick. There will be a tall hunt, which is basically hide and seek, but with where the mimics are the hiders and a normal guy is, and the hunter be and the seeker being a hunter. Sure. Then we get to Fallout 76. Probably the main attraction. Yeah, earlier we did I did talk about it in my Microsoft conference and yeah, I feel like ta So yeah. So this game takes place in six different regions, learning heavily about the West Virginia folklore. It also includes new monsters and uh, includes new monsters. This isn't your typical Fallout game since it's gonna be an entire online game, though you can also play the single player if you don't also you can play the solo if you don't want to deal with the thing I, you know, in case if you don't want to deal with the multiplayer, which you can team up with friends, do ba kill on attackers, and also if you find any nuclear codes, you can go to the nuclear sites and use nuclear weaponry. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why they added a solo me. If you don't want to deal with nuclear bombs, and since this game is split on the prequel, I can understand, and kind of explains why it, everything looks like a deserted wasteland. For pretty much years, and someone also that. Also, there's a new collector's edition, which includes basically this box, a double, which includes a couple of things, such as a map, a uh, a glow in the dark map, some figurine, collector's fallout figurines, into an exclusive steel case, a wearable, well, power T S18 power armor helmet, a can, a West tech Eggs duffel bag, eh, and a t and some bonus digital items. Oh, and also the access to go to Fault Lost 76 beta. This is the power edition I'm also talking about, so. Yeah, it's gonna be per. Which, yes, you The game will come out November 14, 2018, which also there's gonna be a beta coming soon, so look out for that. And this is gonna, and also, yes, you, you've also, oh, and don't get me, oh, and if anyone still thinks this is, this is multiplayer only, it's also solo, it's also, you can play the solo, single player, so, yeah. That will clear up every single raging fan, Fallout fan. Then we get to Starfield, not too much information about this game. Aim, oh yeah, I forgot to mention something also. If you're playing, and also, Fallout Shelter is going to come to the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. So yeah, since the Xbox got it, since Xbox, uh, since also I didn't realize it's also, and yeah, why not the last two next-gen consoles will get this. You can either play, the, for the Switch you can play an icon or touchscreen. Then we get to Starfield. Nothing too much information. <gasps> since it's going to be another sci-fi adventure. It's going to be a sci-fi adventure. Nothing too special, just show the team. And then, the last but not least... East. Yeah, everyone, you're getting Elder Scrolls 6 for crying out loud. You're getting Elder Scrolls 6! Now you can shut up about Elder Scrolls 6 right now. So yeah, well, it took us some time to get finally get Elder Scrolls 6, so yeah. I hope it's going to be pretty good more than basically more win. Okay, yeah, I hope it's going to be better than, than Skyrim. And, well, that's about it. Oh yeah. Anywho, time is it now? Yeah, that should be it. So, yeah, overall this is pretty good. I had good laughs and whatnot, and it's pretty good. Well, the highlights for me has got to be... Oh yeah, right, I forgot to mention one last thing. Um, There's going to be a mobile uh, Elder Scrolls game called Elder Scrolls Blade. It's going to be a free-to-play, a first-person, designed for mobile with... Mm, 
good graphics, eggs handy crafting and outside doors. There are three playable modes, the elaborate, a roguelike procedure to generate three. The town, which is basically customizable, and as well as you can visit friends too, and the other game itself. You can play this. Also, you can play this game horizontally or vertically. So it's your pick. Anyways, and also it's coming out this year. Luckily, I pre-register it. Anyways, I gotta go. Anyways, our world's pretty good. No, I gotta go. I need to go pee something. I need to go pee. So yeah, see ya. Bye.